this is stupid. Yeah, I know. But lots of people have asked us, since we did a review of the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro, whether it's any good in low light. Yeah, that's low light, not no light. Where's the torch? Here it is. Right, thank you. Right, so what are we going to do? I thought if we use my F5... It has the same sensor as an FS7, and we can use that to compare performance. Perfect. Right. Where's the model that I asked you to book? Um, I'm afraid we can't afford the model you asked me to book. Right. Change your shirt. You're on. Okay. Nice shirt. Thank you very much. Yeah. Video profile, ISO 800 on the Ursa. I'm not sure what this shows. It shows us how much light I started with. Yep. And I'm not touching the light. This is all shot at F4. Okay. There's quite a lot of saturation in this picture. Yep. I'm not sure this is actually um, 709. What they call video profile, it looks a bit crushed and a bit oversaturated for 709. But um, let's compare it to the F5. Yeah, it's not zinging quite as much. No. Um, but but quite clearly that is uh, a 709 profile, has a very slight different look to it. I think because it's flatter as well, it looks a little bit brighter. It does. But when you compare them together, they're similar light levels. It's the mid-range that's higher. It's yeah, so I'm not sure the Ursa 709, but the, 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 they're, they're similar in light level. So now, now we're up to 1600. You can see... Uh, the impact that's made again you still got a lot of the saturation in there but that's still still possible to me in terms of yeah, the it's, blacks it's a little bit noisier but i think that's okay and then um compare it to the sonny's pretty similar again we've got that flatter profile which is making it look a little brighter but actually um these all look pretty similar to be honest on light level now we've got the advantage of the sonny we can start upping the iso there's 2,000, and at this point, the black magic can't compete. No, you can you can see it. yeah. it's yeah. The, the, the Sony still at uh, uh, three two hundred is still um, looking quite a usable shot there. Yeah, it's starting to get noisier at four thousand. Yeah, and you can if you look at the color chart, you can see those the blacks on the uh, bottom right of the chart just starting to jump around a little bit. I mean, bit I think you'd be bit. looking at. 5,000, you know, if you were in a situation where you just had to get the shot that, you know. We're, and, we're talking and, news at this but, point, but, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, but then if it was news, it's still a, a, a pretty usable picture there. Yeah, considering how dark this was when it started, I think that's amazing. And of course, the black magic will only go up to 1,600. Yes, so so it's, it's not even there to be compared to. So you would say, looking at that, it's totally a done deal. The Sony is looking way better. Yeah, no contest. If you're going to give your footage to a client, run away with the cards, transmit it, go live, do something like that. I wouldn't use the black magic. The Sony is so much better in low light. All the way up to 6,400 ISO. No contest. However, mm. I would say that's not the full story, is it, for the black magic? It's not strictly fair, because there's there's a different approach going on here. With the black magic, you get a full copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio. That's the full version. Uh, that's a powerful piece of software. Yeah, with the dongle, the whole thing. That's got amazing noise reduction. There's uh, there's a reason why they're giving us that free with the camera. You need it. Yes. They go together. Right. So so what we're saying is the Black Magic workflow is about post rather than in camera. All the noise reduction is happening in the Sony in camera. I don't think the Black Magic's got any noise reduction. Right. So let's let's do a test where we look at the Black Magic in film mode, which is their sort of flatter profile, and the Sony in S Lock without the noise reduction. This is ISO 1600, just to show you what it looks like and how noisy it is in the blacks. Um, it's not what the Black Magic is rated for, as it's native ISO. It's it's actually 800. So the key thing here really is what it is it like at its native game. It's a pretty dark picture, but the difference when, when it's, it's gra graded, <laughs> it, it just comes to life. Look at that. There's, there's so much range in that picture when you put it through Resolve, which is it's intended. This is the workflow that they, yeah. they're suggesting you use. So compare that with the F5 with noise reduction turned off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is incredible, isn't it? Um, this is noisy. 
Yes, you can just it's and, alive. Yeah, and obviously it's ISO two thousand, but that's what the Sony say is its native ISO. That's what um, will give you the most dynamic range out of the sensor. So that's why we're comparing it to eight hundred. Um, but without the internal noise reduction, that is uh, it's a huge very difference. noisy. So yeah. in Final Cut with a grade on there, it's still. It's noisy. It's still noisy. I, I would say it's noisy in the blacks and the darks. The brightness and, and the quality of the picture is very close. Yes. You can get them looking similar. It's just a noise issue. And to be fair, you can just turn that on in the Sonys. Yes, yes. Uh, but, uh, but if you're dealing purely with a, a post-production workflow... Yeah, then the Sony is actually noisier than the Black yes. Magic. But then it's higher ISO. Well, quite clearly, in a in a in a like much more fair like for like test, the Black Magic is is now edging it. I thought the Sony looked really noisy. You turn noise reduction off on the Sony, it's not clean. In fact, do you remember when Sony first came out with S Log and, yeah. and shooting log? They didn't have noise reduction on the F five initially. <laughs> they put that on because so many people were nagging for it. They wanted to burn in their luts and what have you. Without noise reduction, it's rubbish in the blacks. But, but that's interesting, isn't it? Sony were thinking, in a way, a bit like Black Magic, the workflow is going to be in log yeah. afterwards, post. It's right? a cinema workflow. And I think that is where Black Magic are coming from. Their workflow is, that's their heritage, the cinema camera. But the pictures are looking good. If you put them through Resolve, lovely noise reduction in Resolve Studio, the Black Magic pictures, they stand up. They do. They look they good. They look really good. But the Black Magic has one little trick that the Sony can't even compete with. The Black Magic has RAW. Well, obviously, RAW at 800 is pretty dark <laughs> and flat and not much saturation. Whoa, there you go. Now, that picture has zing. Mm. That, that's, come, that's come to life. You've got a lot of leeway, but then you've got a lot of data. Yes. The only thing I would say, it looks quite yellow. These are all shot preset. 3200 yep under tungsten lighting that looks quite yellowy pinky color which i'm surprised but i mean nothing that can't be graded with raw yeah yeah there's no excuses but but yeah if you're going to be grading that in the post environment then you can mm. you can deal with that slightly um but, but it's bringing back a lot of you know so much information and then then the same the same difference between the iso 1600 to a mm. graded uh picture I'm a little bit confused as to why you can change the ISO in RAW. I thought changing, I thought getting a signal off a RAW chip, recording RAW, oh, I see. was the basic data off the sensor. But there's obviously some processing going on because you can change the ISO. Yes, that's, good. that's a good point. In this test, I don't think the RAW has huge advantages over a good ProRes. It doesn't look that much better. No, and, and for the for the extra memory workflow uh, and, yeah. and time i i think you're probably right you deal with prores hq it looks really good yeah so in in summary i think we're saying this is not a fair test we're not comparing like with like no it, it, it's a it's a tale of two workflows to quote charles dickens <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um you know if your client wants a card that's got the pictures at rec 709 all done hand out over they've got yeah. a quick edit or whatever then quite clearly the workflow suits the Sony. Yep. It's better in low light. If you're going to do some post work and you've got the full version of Resolve, the Black Magic stands up really well. Yeah. There's a lot of dynamic range. There's a lot of leeway for you to tweak it afterwards. In many ways, it looks as clean as the Sony. It does. You're just doing it all in post. Maybe the problem is is about how the black magic is marketed rather than the camera itself. And not making it clear that yeah. this is a camera that's going kind to... Of, and, and I guess giving you DaVinci the resolve with it is a clue. There's a clue. But a clue's no good. Yeah, but then, <laughs> then they go and show advertising with it in a news environment. They're calling it a news broadcast yeah. camera. And... They sell it with a B4 mount. A B4 mount, you'll lose even Get more, more light. light yeah. yeah, more glass. Um, it's not a news camera. If you want a news camera, you'll use you the Sony or... With a bit more versatility. Or even something with a smaller sensor. But but the pictures that you can get out of it with with a, with the dealing with the noise in post are, I think, are very, very nice. I think they're nice too. And I think 
I've, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and I've seen a lot of reviewers really slating off the black magic for being awful in low light, terribly noisy. And it's not fair. I don't think it's fair because they're not comparing apples with apples. Yep. Um, it's, it's not the same camera. It's not the same workflow. Um, yeah, so I think, I think you need to think about what you want the camera for, how you're going to use the camera, if you can know all those variables. Um, and the mm. truth is, they're both very, very good cameras, both really good sensors. Whichever one you, you choose, you can get good pictures. It's just how you achieve those when, we, when we're dealing with, with low light. So, mm. as we can see, they both look great. I've got another idea. Yeah, don't tell me. A highlight test. <laughs>